Today, we're going to be hitting Rebirth 1 in less than 30 minutes in Shadowvis. As soon as we spawn in, what are we going to do? We are going to redeem some free codes. The first code is million. The next code is 500 likes, then 7,500 likes, then 15,000 likes, then 25,000 likes, then Twitter, and finally, burning. Additionally, we'll claim our free prize, which is 1,590 gold, and then we can check inside of our inventory. And inside of our inventory, we have some pretty nice gear. We're going to equip the Wanwood Antlers, the Gold Ring, the Fledging Ringlet, and the Fall firebrand this sword is insane and also because of the fledging ringlet we are now able to fly so then we're going to start killing some goblins just to start off and we'll also collect some cubits as well to get our xp multiplier up these things are super easy to kill considering we are already doing 200 damage so far then we're going to follow the road from the starter bridge collect a few more cubits like this one right here and then we're going to go over to the graveyard and start killing some of these ghosts which still should be very easy to kill we'll keep farming some of the ghosts because they are really easy to kill and currently they are giving the most experience for us so we just hit level 10 for farming ghosts for about a minute now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over and kill the ghost king right here and he actually has a nice little reward that he will give us now we're gonna keep killing him until we can get this little ghost thing which does pop out and it's kind of hard to get but we can fly okay there we go we actually did just get it i'm gonna fall to my death though but this phantom soul is really nice when we equip it it actually gives us an ability which launches a barrage of ghosts anytime we click r and these things actually do a really nice amount of damage 160 damage damage and there's like four of them it is really nice to use the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to this big dude over here known as the gladiator now this dude might be intimidating at first and we're only level 14 but he actually can't hit us so what we're going to do is we're going to summon our ghost and just start smacking him and he's going to die so easily he'll also give us a helmet which we can use because it gives us a plus 25 percent damage multiplier but we're unable to regen health the thing is though is that regenerating health doesn't exactly matter considering this dude can barely punch us all right so now killing him is getting less and less rewarding we're now level 27 so we did kill him for a little bit what we'll then do is we'll then venture into the desert over here now we're not going to mess with that desert merchant because he will stomp us out but there's a cubit right here so we can get some more xp gain and then this dude right over here the igniter knight of dark order is also relatively easy to kill and your ghost will do most of the work so he won't even get hit a single time and he'll also give us a cubit as well additionally we can do the exact same thing to the serpent over here the serpent is really easy to kill so we just summon our ghost start swinging and he should die easily additionally the serpent will give us a serpent's fang and we can equip that as well for some melee power speed and 25 percent armor shreds now we summon our ghost again and we can attack him again and this dude just dies with ease so nice oh wow look at this monkey man joined me in defeating him sweet also there's a little cubit right up here it's actually to the left of the serpent right there so if you can fly up here unlock it and there you get some more xp now we're then going to go through this tunnel right here which is going to lead us up to here where a bunch of moon bunnies are at and these things are level 60 but another good thing about these is that they are unable to hit you so you can just kill them real quick and they will give you some bunny ears additionally since that cubit's right there we should probably grab that too to get some more xp okay we just went from level 41 to 61 that is insane so we're gonna summon our ghost one more time kill one more bunny and this dude should die really quickly now we're 62 and i think we're actually gonna move on from this place but before we do we're gonna kill this poor little villager guy right here and grab his moon ring then we're just gonna go back down here and we're actually gonna venture once again back to the desert along our way we'll kill some enemies like this bone harvester right here which is actually a little bit harder to kill because these purple things will hurt and then we also have this gigantic viking up here which we will kill him as well because he's unable to hit us and upon killing him we'll get his enchanted battle axe and this cubit right there so that's pretty convenient and there's another cubit right over here so we'll grab this one and right through this waterfall there's actually a secret little portal so we're gonna go right through this waterfall and inside of here we have a viking and a cubit so let's go ahead and get the cubit and grab his helmet then we're gonna go through here unlock another cubit and this is where some higher level enemies are at now these are relatively easy to take out just summon your ghost and if you're worried about getting killed just move around you don't even have to hit them once you can just let your ghost take care of them and the ghost will kill them relatively easily just like that same thing you can do with the berserker master right here just make sure that your ghosts are like lined up with him and they will handle them all for you and there we go he was defeated pretty easily and now we've got the berserker warhelm the next thing we can do is go ahead and grab this cubit right over here and then we're actually gonna go down and under into this little section right here now inside of this part of the castle there are some knights and they're actually really easy to kill just summon your ghost you might actually get hit and you might actually die but don't worry that's okay for the most part you should not get hit at all there can be some very unlucky times where you actually do take some damage and see just like that we're now level 79 and we've got a crimson spear it's not actually better than our sword so we're not going to use it but next we'll go over to the sage knight and kill this dude as well and boom there we go we're now level 80 and we can also take on the castle knight 
right as well but let's go ahead and grab this cupid behind us this guy also seems to have a little bit of a better chance of hitting us just like that so attacking that guy might not exactly be recommended but we are just gonna farm those other knights for the rest of the time so we're gonna make our way back to the desert real quick let's help this guy out and get some xp and we're gonna go through here then we'll go through the waterfall again and hit that portal and then once we go through this portal we're gonna go the exact same way so since we have some wings we can just glide down there pretty easily and we're just gonna keep attacking these two guys right here the sage knights like i said it's really unlikely that you do get hit sometimes you get unlucky like this sage knight actually hit me twice but with this guy we should still get pretty lucky and we shouldn't get attacked too often all right so we hit 88 and they killed us once again but we just have to fly back there real quick continue killing them and we should be 100 in no time so drop down here glide through here and honestly just focusing on this sage knight right here the one with the axe seems like it's much more reliable because this guy hits us much less than that sage knight over there the sage knight over there seems like it has the possibility of hitting us once every fight while this dude seems like it might hit us once every five fights or something like that little progress update we're nearly 15 minutes into this and we are in level 96 now we just hit level 99 but the thing is is that this dude's been hitting us a little bit more and more recently and we're at 219 health so like one or two swings away from dying wonder if we're gonna be able to hit a level 100 before he actually hits us again and kills us i sure hope so okay we just killed him once again and we are now level 100 and as we can see we have the rebirth pun pop up right there we clicked rebirth and we have officially rebirthed in 16 minutes and 37 seconds honestly i don't know what the world record is for rebirthing but we probably could have done that even quicker especially if we would have collected more cubits at first with that being said that's gonna be it for this video if you guys did enjoy make sure you smash the like button also the subscribe button and turn this post notifications on if you want to see some more shadovas content and i'll see you guys in the next video